Hey, what's up, people? And I kind of figured out how to homebrew off Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon, and it wouldn't work with the new update 11.1 .1 on the 3DS. So I talked to a person that you know created this hacks, which is called the Super Mystery Chunk Hacks, and there might be an issue with the U.S. region and Japan region. For some reason, um, I think the European region works, but I couldn't get it to work on the new 3DS or the old 3DS US region. And um, for some reason, I still have this 3DS you see here on the webcam, the gold 3DS. Um, for some reason, I still had it on 11.0. So I kind of dragged the newer files from Super Mystery Chunk Hacks and dragged it into the SD card so try to see if it worked like that and for some reason it does launch homebrew on 11.1 .1 after you install the payload so I'm gonna show you real quick and you're gonna see that I'm on 11.0 Alright, as you can see, I'm on 11.0.0-33U. Alright, so that's proof. I'm still in the old update. Alright, so I'm going to launch Homebrew right now. Alright, let me make sure everything gets loaded properly here. All right, so make sure you have access to homebrew if not you're not gonna be able to do this all right I'm gonna launch Ocarina of Time which is the method I know that could homebrew all right all right perfect um now we're gonna get this install before I get started I'm gonna show you guys where to get the installer so we're gonna come to this page well I'll leave the link to this page as well and we're gonna come to the Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon official website um make sure you download the the sauce ploy installer all right and yeah you're gonna get the new release version 1.1 so you download it and of course uh, make sure you drag it into into your SD card or the 3ds starter kit so you're gonna see something like that so exploit installer so make sure you drag the whole folder inside and you should be good to go all right and before I get started let me remove the let me remove the what do you call it my game over here and install super mystery dungeon here all right and make sure I get everything working properly okay perfect okay so I'm gonna go to salt explore installer that's the file I downloaded and installed in the SD card. All right, I'm gonna go to the 3DS, then Saw Explore Installer, and Super Mystery Chunk Hex Installer. Okay, and this does work for the new 3DS as well. It should work for the 2DS as well. So here we are initializing. You may press Start and then exit. So pretty much if you want to exit, just press start. And then it's going to say, welcome to the Splo Installer Salt Edition. Please proceed with caution as you might lose your data if you don't. So make sure you create a backup. If not, your data is pretty much gone. All right, so I'm going to press A. So remember guys, this is a 11.0.033. Basically, it detects the version of your, the firmware of your 3DS here. So I'm going to go with 11.134 in USA. So whatever region is your 3DS from, select the region 
USA, Euro, Japan, right? And as well as if it's new or old 3DS. So old 3DS and 2DS are gonna share the, this file, all right? So I got everything here selected. So downloading the payload, um, installing payload. Make sure you're connected to the internet because if not, it's not gonna download the payload. Okay, it's gonna take like probably like 10 seconds all right so it's done super mystery chunk hex was successfully installed so i'm gonna press start here and exit all right let me turn off the webcam here because we don't need it all right sorry about that guys so i'm gonna remove the game here and let's focus on the capture card over here all right, guys. So you guys could see that. All right. So I got my game installed here. Not installed, but I have it on here. So I'm gonna go to my system settings so you guys could see that this is the 11.1 update. So 11.1.0-34. So this is the newest update. All right. So no signal here. And. Let's go launch Super Mystery Dungeon. Right. And she launch right now. Once you see those three icons, it should launch. If it does kick you out, if it does kick you out of the back to the main menu just try it again like don't don't install the payload just you know launch pokemon again and you should be good to go so as you can see guys it works and i'm launched to homebrew on 11.1 and i'm gonna do it again so you guys can see that everything's working flawlessly um i try to do it on base hacks because they did do a i get a i guess a beta a beta update and for some reason it's not working um the new update 11.1 pretty much ruined everything so far like hans is not working so you can random you cannot randomize your game uh for some people i heard the save manager is not working as well and as you can see it's being launched without issues so there you go guys and once you do that you could just you know launch to 11.1 if you want all right guys so that's it if you guys enjoyed this video hit the like button if you want to support my youtube channel hit the subscribe button and i'll bring out more tutorials um i'll be looking daily and seeing if what's being updated and whatnot so other than that thanks for watching and i will see you on the next video All right, guys, before I finish this video, uh, I'm going to show you the soft blow installer, how it looks like. So once you, like I said, once you drag it into your SD card, you're going to see it right here, soft blow installer, and you just open it, then open up the 3DS folder, and then you're going to go again to a soft blow installer, and then you're going to see the shiny frag desire icon, and that's the way you're going to launch super mystery chunk hex installer that's pretty much it and just do what i did so make sure whatever system you're going to use make sure you install that payload to that system so if you're going to use the old 3ds make sure you install the old payload the old 3ds payload into the game if you're going to use the new 3ds make sure you install the new 3ds payload into the game and other than that you could just be switching on and off to whatever game I mean, to whatever system. All right, guys, that's it. So, once again, thanks for your support.